It was in September this year that Instagram opened up for business in India, allowing brands to advertise on this Facebook-owned photo and video sharing social network. Now, financial and tech analysts, they are predicting that Instagram's advertising is going to become a billion dollar business by the year 2017, and it's going to soar to $4 billion by 2020. And clearly, it's easy to see why. Instagram has more than 400 million users globally. In fact, it's giving the mother brand, Facebook, a tough run for its money. So against this backdrop of the here and now and the future of Instagram, how are marketeers in India using it as a tool? Could it actually overtake competition and become a social media advertising titan? Our top story delves into this. On April 9, 2012, Kevin Systrom and Mike Krager sold their 13% startup Instagram to Facebook. Facebook purchased the photo filter app 18 months after its launch for a whopping $1 billion. Today, with 400 million active users per month, Instagram is the second largest social networking platform in the world. While it's still some distance behind its mother brand Facebook, which has close to 1.5 billion active users per month, it may not be long before it catches up, given that in the past five years, more than 40 billion photos have been shared on Instagram and 80 million more are uploaded daily. So as it sets up shop in India, providing yet another advertising platform, how are Indian marketers looking at Instagram? See, Instagram is actually a very, very happy place. You know, it's a place where people come and they share a slice of their lives and uh, it's a lot of fun people, people who want to be creative. So, uh, you know, it's an extremely happy place. And, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was just such a natural fit for us to actually come on that platform and, you know, freak out a little. One of the other factors that works greatly in Instagram's favor is the sheer variety of content that is consumed. But given that it is an inherently visual medium, what are the categories that fit in best here? To me, the categories that work best on Instagram are food and beverage, travel and hospitality, and fashion. So these three categories really lend themselves well to it because of the sheer uh, visual appeal that these categories have with them. So in the food and beverage, one sees a lot of these uh, brands making quick showing recipes you know or showing how to make some new mocktails right or cocktails so how do you you know educate people how do you value add you know with with the people out there while brands in these categories are natural fits for instagram there is a host of other companies as well that have been able to leverage this platform well one such as grofer the online grocery shopping app that's quickly integrating its brand with instagram to beef up its digital spread we are heavy on digital. We promote ourselves a lot on digital mediums because that's the best medium for us to reach out to the target segment that we have. Uh, Instagram behaves in a very different way as compared to other social media networks such as Facebook, Twitter and you know other ad networks. We use Instagram mostly for uh, engagement purposes and it has, go it has shown pretty good results so far. Uh, in fact, we were featured on Instagram launch uh, in India purely on the basis that our, our, uh, our uh, ROI was really, really good on the platform. In fact, this is opening up a whole new gamut of opportunities for brands that are intrinsically interactive like dating app Truly Madly, which has been actively creating initiatives to reach out to its target consumer base through Instagram. Uh, one of the things that we've done recently is um, advertising on Instagram and in fact I think we are one of the first uh, few brands in India to do so. Uh, what we've done is we've also, uh, in addition to being one of the first, we've also the first in India to use cinemagraphs which, uh, which is like moving, uh, which is like still images but only a part of the image is moving. So it's something that re it really like attracts the user. So when you're on your Instagram feed, you suddenly see this beautiful image of say like a couple having a fun moment and only one part of the image is moving. So uh, cinemagraphs is one of the things that we've employed and it's done really well. We've, some, some of our cinemagraphs have gotten over 10,000 uh, likes which is really good for Instagram. So that's one of the things uh, and we've actually rolled out a whole campaign based on that. And in terms of advertising, we've seen like our reach has gone up significantly, like I think it's gone up uh, about 13%. Also our cost per install has gone down. Uh, so it's like what almost like 19% less, so which is really good for us. So we are spending less basically and reaching more people. Looking to expand its options to bring in more users as well as alternate sources of revenue. 
Instagram has upped its video sharing limit to 30 seconds from the earlier 15. This move could well prove to be a game changer for Instagram as brands and advertisers are sitting up and taking notice. I think video has become a big part of every social media platform. Facebook is uh, focusing on video, uh, Twitter has its own video platform and now Instagram which had 15 seconds has extended it to 30 seconds. Uh, given the length it uh, provides a great storytelling experience for brands using Instagram. Also Instagram is a part of Facebook so there's a lot of uh, uh, cross traffic uh, that happens across Facebook. A lot of Facebook users are now starting to use Instagram and use Instagram to post on Facebook. So clearly uh, that 30 seconds is uh, really valuable and brands will start looking at the Instagram uh, video commercial as the next opportunity for them uh, to promote their products, brands, uh, portfolio, whatever it may be. Like Facebook and Twitter in their early days, Instagram seems to be quickly gaining momentum and disrupting the social media space, a fact that has not been lost on marketers. Given this, Could it soon start claiming a much larger share of the ad spend spy? So currently, if a brand spends 20% of their overall advertising budget on digital, and a couple of years back distributed that, say, between uh, display and search, with a little bit left over for social, now that mix would be changing. And as Instagram offers more robust video solutions, then uh, some of that mix might. Uh, Uh, move towards Instagram, from YouTube, even from mainline television. Certainly for younger brands with audiences who don't consume content on televisions and look to go online, uh, I think uh, it's just a matter of time before they monetize it uh, to a greater extent and brands look at it in the larger scheme of their media budgets.